Clyde and this is Zentivity TV. I have been doing therapy with people, thousands of people, over many, many years. And I have found some principles that narrowed down make it simple to make few incremental changes that have drastically changed people's lives. I have traveled around the world and collected all sorts of stories that, that show you how that works. You know, I've got a webinar that I talk about how this works in a longer basis, but today, just let me tell you a story. A story about Abu Bakr, a child soldier in Sierra Leone. I met him when he was 15 years old. And his story started with me when he was about 11. He was on his way to school in the middle of a bloody, bloody civil war in the 90s. And he was abducted by the Rebel United Front. And they took him to uh, a mile post at Sierra Leone and they gave him his first weapon and they taught him to loot and steal and burn houses down and rape and pillage and how to do amputations, which is the key to this terrorizing war in Sierra Leone, the random amputations by machete or chainsaw. So they taught him how to loot and steal and they patted him on the back because he was so good at it, because they kept plying him with drugs. They threatened him with his life if he didn't follow. And now this young boy became very good at the hateful acts that he was taught. And one day they brought him back to Freetown, which was his hometown, which is where his family was from. They took him to his family house. He walked in the door. It was filled with about 20 people. But it wasn't a happy reunion. The rebel army had him burn down his house, kill his relatives. And when he looked me in the eye with tears, he said, I can't even tell you what I did to my mother. So this little boy was traumatized in so many, so many ways over the time period of about four years when I finally got to meet him and talk to him. This little boy looked at me in the eye and was so tearfully sorry that he had committed all these atrocities. He had no choice in his mind. He had to do what they told him to do because they would murder him if he didn't. But now he just wanted to reunite with his family, but his family wouldn't take him back. Even though the war was over, even though they knew he was forced to do these things, they would not take him back. They're even going to take him to court. So what happened was he pleaded with me to help him find someone who would pay his school fees because he said, I just want to go back to school. I want to learn to be an electrician and I want to make my life a life of meaning. But he's afraid he's not, wasn't forgiven by his family. But he did remember, he told me, that he was forgiven by God. And that one tiny thread of hope and connection made him realize that he could start over. Whether people forgave him or not, he had a connection to his Creator. That is the first principle of Zentivity. Connect with your Creator. You lay the foundation and dig down the roots of a connection to all that is, so that when the winds of fortune blow against you, you can still start over. I hope you've never had to experience something this awful. But understand, it works for whether or not you've had a trauma, a natural disaster, a terrorist incident, a workplace misunderstanding, or a family argument. Connect with your Creator on a regular basis. And even though these things continue to happen in the world, you can stand strong and steady. If you want to know more about that webinar, which kind of explains how Zentivity.Guru works, click the link below, register for my webinar. It's at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays, and you'll be registered for the next one coming up. Thanks for joining me.